Trains, painting, woodwork, model building, electrical work, photography, videography, the list goes on and on and on. Model railroading has a bunch of hobbies rolled into it, but today we're going to be talking about the parts of it that are involved in steam. And no, I'm not talking about the thing that powers steam engines. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name's Jimmy. Welcome to Coffee and Trains. Today I'm drinking some Tim Hortons. You can check out what some of my viewers are drinking right here. And if you want your comment featured about what coffee you are drinking, you can leave that in the comments below. Cheers, guys. Okay, so STEAM. What is it? Well, it's an acronym for Science, Technology, Engineering, Art, and Math. These subjects are very important because interest and pursuit of these can lead to amazing opportunities and careers. So let's break down each part of STEAM. The first is science. The most prominent science topics that you are going to come across are material science and chemistry. Basically, you use a myriad of different materials to create a model railroad. You must not only know how to utilize those materials, but how to put multiple different materials together. A great example of this is thin superglue and isopropyl alcohol. I use both of these materials regularly during my model railroad construction. One thing that you should know about these is that IPA will act as an accelerant for the curing process of superglue. In this process, some heat is generated. You want to be careful when using these materials in close proximity. There are plenty of other examples as well. Think about all the modeling materials like sculpta mold. Someone has to create that at some point. All those different paints have different use cases based on their chemical composition. Science is everywhere in model railroading. Technology is next, and this one's pretty easy. There's all sorts of tech in model railroading. There's also a lot of custom technology built into model railroading. Just look at all the things that I do with Arduinos, or look at things like JMRI, the Engine Driver app, and most recently, the Soundtrack's Blue Nami Decoder. Technology is not only a major part of model railroading, but it will only increase its presence in the hobby in the future. Now, it's on to engineering. There are a lot of different topics that I can go into here, but I'm going to start with the most obvious, construction. Building your layout requires certain tools and techniques, as well as some calculations for what you want. These are the type of things that can set off that first spark of engineering curiosity within a young mind. So when you're building a layout, have your kids or grandkids or nieces and nephews with you. You may start them on a path that could lead to a lifetime of fulfilling work. The second part of engineering is electrical engineering. Model railroads do require a certain level of knowledge about electrical work. You can easily blow out DCC decoders or short out lights and track. Having your system properly wired is very important to the health of your model railroad. Art is probably the most obvious of them all. There is so much artistic ability that goes into model railroading. The entire hobby is an art form in and of itself. There's lots of painting, model building, sculpting, all sorts of things. Model railroads are essentially giant dioramas that you build, and building a somewhat realistic diorama takes time and artistic skill. Art is also one of those beauty is in the eye of the beholder type of things. Every model railroad is different, but you are making this art to be beautiful to you. Now we arrive at math. You will do a decent amount of math when it comes to model railroading. The most obvious part of this is measurements that you need to do. Measurements are crucial in model railroading. With things like module construction and international standards, measurements play a critical role in model railroading. The other big part of math that you will use is geometry. Geometry is big in multiple parts of model railroading. One of the most obvious ones is track radii. How many times have I said what a track radius is on here? But there's also a lot of things like angles and bench work. So math is really, really important in model railroading, especially when you're building and you're trying to figure out exact measurements to make sure that your layout works properly and fits together properly. Steam is a big part of why I want to share model railroading with my kids because I want to be able to inspire them to figure out exactly what they want to do in life and they have to do that through experimentation and trying different things and seeing what they want and that is a huge part of the steam aspect of model railroading. So if you have kids or grandkids or nieces and nephews, share your model railroad with them because you could inspire their future life and career. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY. Wine Digital. 
Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.